Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, this card bent. Nine of Cups. So, hmm. something you're wishing for, something you're dreaming of, some type of fantasy. Maybe about to come true. Some of you may be actually in a fantasy, right? Um, Calm down on your drinking, Cancer. If you've been doing a lot of, I don't know, I feel like somebody's getting a high here. Let's, let's see what the message is. Give me a message, please, for Cancer. You may be living your best life, too. Um, just balance that. I, I feel like they're saying balance it just because it feels like a, um, a season, right? Some of you are really living your best life here. Death is here. Let's see what's next to death. It's like you're going through a transformation. Nine of Swords. Wow. We went from being very, very happy to someone's dealing with some grief and some sadness and worry. How? How? Okay, I, I think that's why they kind of want you out of balance things here. Because whatever you're experiencing now, there's going to be a total transformation of that. And that's the energy I was getting. So some of you may be high on life. You may be feeling really good. And I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. But this is coming in so strongly. Don't get so dependent on this energy that you're experiencing now. Find the balance within it. Make sure you're able to be happy without whatever it is you're experiencing because it might feel like a fantasy, like a dream. But it's 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 temporary. It's like a temporary high. Because I'm seeing a crash here. I'm seeing like a... Somebody's going to crash. As in... It's like a, a, a depression... I'm, I'm going to keep going. I don't really want to focus on that. High Priestess. Ooh. Your higher self is telling you. It's like a knowing. You know this. Um, this is not something you didn't know. I feel like you already can feel. Like You might be feeling like this is too good to be true. High Priestess is here. Something happening behind the scenes. Things you... It's like whatever you're living, you're not privy to certain stuff that's going on behind it. It's like, what is this? I'm getting Scorpio energy here. Death is here. But High Priestess, I'm getting Scorpio. You may have that on your chart. You may know someone. Scorpio here. Eight of Wands. Secrets being communicated. Certain things that you don't know, once they're revealed, I feel like it changes. Some of you, this may be like something that's already happened. You may have had like a really good situation going on. And now you're feeling like what you thought you had, you're experiencing the opposite because of things that you didn't know that was happening in the background. Um, it's like you're if you paid more closer to closer attention to things being said, ace of coins, you got to rebuild. Someone has to rebuild from the ground up. I heard the word commitment here, so I don't know. Ace of coins, wow. It's a want. It's like, get it's inspired about life. Find something to be excited about and start doing it. Because then you, then you build something beautiful that you can call your own here. It's beautiful peacock here. But get yourself up. Somebody's in depression. They're trying to get you out of it. It's time to start again, start living again, 
whatever you went through, I'm going to have to say it like this, and I'm not being insensitive, but you got to get over it and start living again, right? So this is going to be a message for a particular group who's at a particular place in their healing. If something just happened, take your time. But this feels like it's going to towards somebody who's been experiencing this for a while, and it's time to get yourself back up, okay? That's what I'm getting. Overall, Ten of Wands, yeah. Carrying heavy baggage, right? Bag lady, you gonna hurt your back carrying all those bags like that. Some of you, you're carrying too much and you've been carrying it for a while. So you actually may be dealing with um, physical ailments. Um, somebody may be dealing with some mental to health issues or some even physical elements here. You've been carrying a lot for too long. It's heavy weight, okay? Some of you may be dealing with a death of someone who meant a lot to you, like an actual death. And this person meant a lot to you. And They're, they're trying to get you to move on. Like, you need to rebuild. You need to start all over. Yeah. I keep hearing the song Bag Lady from Erica Badu. Somebody's carrying too much. It's too heavy. It's... it's uh, um. This could be showing up in your life as taking on a lot of responsibilities that you can't really handle. And it's time to stop being everybody's crutch. Why does this feel so strong? Hierophant. The death of your marriage, for some of you, could have been what changed you. Knight of Wands. You may not recognize yourself when you look in the mirror after going through a certain experience. Some of you may have become something you're not because you went through a terrible experience. So you may have picked up a certain persona. You became like, I'm getting like somebody who became like a bad boy, right? Or a bad girl. Like you became your experience versus healing from it. So all of your decisions are being made from a place of pain. Of like the people who hurt you, the people who deceived you, the people who did you wrong or used you. And you're now... It's time to get out of that energy and start rebuilding yourself. This is your third ace, ace of swords. This is the truth. They're trying to get you all to start brand new. Okay. Aces are new beginnings. It's time to see clearly Somebody needs to see how they're hurting themselves by carrying something around. Um, I almost want to say, like, it's time, right? It's time to move on from something. It's time to move on. That's how it's coming out. Emperor and take control, of, take back control of your life. Some of you, Aries message, Taurus message will be helpful for you. Aries. Um, you may be dealing with an Aries Emperor. I'm feeling stagnant energy here. Somebody in your life, the Page of Cups came out 
And I feel like it wanted to come out in reverse. But I just feel like you might be waiting for someone to apologize or to, you might be waiting to see someone get like what they did to you come back on them. You're trying to, if that's your focus before you're feeling good about yourself, just know you're, you're dealing with lower ego here. If you feel like you want revenge, you need you need the person to see what they did to you. Um, some of you are holding a grudge, causing stagnant energy. Someone may be wanting to apologize to you and you're saying no. That's creating stagnant energy for you. Your new beginnings can't come through with all these blockages. You got too much. Too much heavy heaviness. Ten wands, too much heaviness, too much on your back. Too much you're holding on to, too much pain, too much sorrow, feeling like someone did you wrong. And this could have been someone who um, you felt like you had the best time of your life with them. It's a big letdown is what I'm getting. Like it was too much for you to deal with. I would recommend some therapy for somebody here. Hierophant could be a counselor, a clergyman, a pastor. Someone to give you advice. Someone who has like a similar testimony as you can maybe get you to see it in a different way. That would be helpful. Some someone, some of y'all need some therapy here. I'm going to recommend that because new beginnings are trying to come in. Ace of coins, ace of wands, ace of swords. You're supposed to use what you went through as a catalyst to get you to be more inspired and motivated to change your life. But someone's going into like deep depression instead. So they're trying to get you to like flourish to blossom, to come out of this more beautiful than ever. Start living your dream again, but on your own terms, right? Yes, the sun. They're trying to get you happiness, joy. It's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to recommend. This is interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to recommend Taurus message to y'all because... These two cards came out just like this. Somebody's refusal to see, like there's sunshine after the rain, right? Like you can't see what they're trying to show you. Your back is to it. You're still focused on the pain. You're still focused on what you went through. When the sun is shining right there behind you. Happiness is trying to happen for you. They're trying to give you joy and contentment. They're trying to give you your wish fulfillment, your dreams coming true. They're trying to give you that life that you can only dream of. It's contentment here. And it feels like a release to your lighter. It's like not being able to see this. Wow. A fiery climax approaches. Something's trying to happen for you. That's the sun. Let's see what the sun is. Okay. Wow. Nine of swords. And then I see high priestess below it. And guess what's so interesting about this? Nine of Swords and High Priestess is right next to it. Same two cards. So we're going to ask what this is about. Because I feel like someone may not be telling you something. Someone may not be. Someone's keeping a secret. Or it, it feels a little bit purposefully. Someone... Someone's actions, 
that led to harsh consequences, and it may be for you. Tell me about the High Priestess. This is like a mystery woman. Some of you may feel connected to an energy here. High Priestess, somebody, yeah. Some of y'all are mourning somebody who you feel connected to. Wanting You wanting to reu reunite. That's what this is. Some of y'all didn't see what you had. I see. Some of you, your ego caused you to miss out on a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opportunity. And you're worried about that. And it may be concerning a person who... Um, this feels like you had a good time with this person. Ah, I see. This is what I was getting in the beginning. All right. So there's like a... An energy you don't know nothing about this. It's like a mystery person. You, They may have been a prominent part of your life. We got, what, three cards here? Yeah, three cards. And you may not know anything about They may have exit your life. That could have been the death here. And you're worried. You're worried that you missed out on something. Wanting to reunite. This could have been somebody you lived with. You could have been married to this person. Here, Hierophant is here. I feel like you were comfortable. This could have been someone. It could have gone all the way, actually, when you think about it. It could have gone all the way with this person. But you didn't see them for what they were, what they represented in your life. Wow. And there's still attraction here. So the Aries message, somebody is mourning the loss of someone, death. And Eight of Wands here, communicate, communication. If you're wondering if you should communicate, trust what you feel. The emperor is below the eight of wands, right? Like if you are at a place where you feel very secure within yourself and you started to take control of your life and you're starting to take responsibility for your actions and you're holding yourself accountable for decisions you've made, if you really feel like you've grown from whatever you've experienced, go for it. Because Ace of Coins, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, new beginnings can happen. Others of you, you may feel like it's over. Like, done deal. With fiery climax approaching, it feels like once someone takes control of the situation, and communicate the truth because he's looking at the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is the truth. If you're at the place where you can speak clearly without confusion, there's a happy ending waiting for you. You may not be aware of this because you're focused on the Nine of Swords energy. You're worried. But there is a happy ending waiting. Okay, this is your last card. Ego may be what's keeping some of you from getting what you deserve. You may be looking at it from the wrong point of view, the wrong perspective. Again, I'm going to tell you the Taurus message. I feel like the Taurus message continues this message here. It keeps going because these are the first two cards. So something needs you to take control of it. And then you get a fiery climax. So if you feel like that fantasy that you were living, death to it, and like it's over, it's done with, and you sit and you're in your Nine of Swords energy, someone who you've detached from, you never know how this can go, okay? Don't let pride get in your way is the message. Don't let pride get in your way. 
Okay, Leo is um, also coming up here. This is a full moon in Leo. I see that lion and the sun rules Leo. So some of you, the Leo message could help you as well. I'm going to leave it there. Work through your fears and don't let pride get in your way. But a fiery, there's a situation that there was an ending to it. And it could have been an abrupt ending because I see like someone crashed. Someone went to a very low low. And it's like you started to reflect on who you were or who you ended up becoming because of a bad experience. And if you learn through what you went through and you're no longer carrying that past situation that you went through, ten of wand, heavy burden on your back, you can really, really sit up straight, not let pride get in your way and do something brave and bring a happy ending. So I feel like this is to those of you who, who feel like something, there's no going back on it. It reached the point of no return and there's nothing you can do. Um, There's something you can do. Communication. You know, let's get... I'm not doing an extended... Oh, wow. Did y'all see how that was pulled out? Communicate. It fell in reverse. So I feel like some of you not communicating will keep you in the state of stagnancy where nothing's happening. Where you feel confused and you don't know what to do. Communication is the advice. Communicate. Reach out. Or just let someone know the truth. How you feel. What you've gone through. What you've experienced. He's looking straight at the as a sword. So there's some kind of truthful communication. That can shift this. For whoever this is for. Eight of Wands. Clarifying eight of wands. That's the message. Okay. I hope this was a, uh, I hope it was helpful. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.